survivor of the Holocaust, and uh, I have been a volunteer at the Holocaust Documentation and Education Center for 35 years now. So today, the Holocaust Document Education Center um, sponsors a Student Awareness Day. So dealing with prejudice, discrimination, bullying, and why these patterns continue. These days are incredibly important because we talk about what each and every one of us sees within our communities, sometimes in our homes and schools. The message that we give and the work that we do is very, very important in view of the conditions that have not ceased to exist since the Holocaust. It's about learning what happened, that we don't repeat the same mistakes, and we look forward to make a difference. The founding president was the late and beloved sister Trinita Flood of Barry University that really had a vision for this organization to do exactly what its name represents, which is to document and educate the lessons and memory of the Holocaust. So first and foremost, we the survivor believe that once people learn what has happened, uh, there will be no more hate and, and it, it'll help to diminish the prejudices and so on. The survivors do not want their past to become the students' future. And the students understand it, feel it, and they know how honest this is. I made the pledge that, that I will do whatever I can uh, to tell people uh, not to hate, that there is a hope for a better world, and that but we need to do something about it. The value of it is unbelievable. I would say it's an invaluable experience, especially to meet a Holocaust survivor. Students turn around and say, you know, we too have prejudice and hatred in our schools and our homes and nobody talks to us about it. Nobody tells us. Nobody wants to even discuss the subject. Someday these survivors, the first eyewitnesses, are going to be gone. And so to learn from them now and the great empathy that they have, I mean I have seen teenagers mesmerized in their conversation with the survivors. And I think because they hear something in what that survivor says that relates. And so when you get a late 70s or 90 plus year old talking to a teenager and they connect, that's magical and it's also grace. And they tell us it's very, very difficult in school these days. There are various groups, there's so much proliferation. So when the students come together with the survivor of the Holocaust who has truly experienced the ultimate of what prejudice and hatred can do, and they are there telling them to signpost along the road to genocide, people can change. Young minds will accept new ideas if presented to them. And we hope that we will influence that thinking, that those old prejudices which uh, have been installed in young children can be reversed, that, uh, that our story will tell them what, what happens if, if hate goes out of hand, if nobody stands up, if they are just bystanders and not willing to speak up.